Deck. Deck. Wait, that's illegal. It would be fine if the government would get a shit together and figure that mess out. None of these cartel members are wearing any form of body armor here, and I'm pretty sure my guy is running his M4 slicked out. My boy Liam, or Jim, is absolutely chicken winging it. I've got four or five IAs heading north out near my range. Copy that, Jim. Agents on the way. Uh, yeah, no. Speaking from experience here, you're looking at a 30 minute delay minimum with Border Patrol. Index that booger hook away from the bang switch. That pass has kept us busy all week. The cartels are running everything through there. Drugs, people, guns. Then why don't y'all have directed patrols in that area? If you know it's a problem spot, then allocate more resources there. I mean, I know BP is short staffed, but not enough to just say, hey, that's one of our biggest hotspots for crime. Well, best just leave it for the elderly rancher to take care of. It would be fine if the government would get its shit together and figure that mess out. Exactly. Minus one sin for based Jim. I'm up, they see me, I'm down. Like all the way down, not like at a half squat, homie. Get down! Take like the extra two seconds to be careful when going through the fence and not stab yourself. Or if you see those sharp pointy boys, throw the jacket on them so that way you don't get a tetanus de stupido. Habla English. I come here to take the woman and the boy. Sorry, Pancho, these illegals are mine. Hey, calm down there, Jim. Marine Corps. Why are we not at the low ready, Jim? Not even Sewell. What readiness level is this? He's reaching, Jim. Get into a ready position, Jim. Decent thumbs forward grip. Minus one sin. There's absolutely no way you are hitting them at that angle, let alone the doo-doo sight picture you're getting there, Jim. A cinematic sin here, but at least try to make the lighting consistent between shots, my guy. Come on! My brother in Christ, I know that we are stopping for a dramatic moment in the movie, but like, for real? Transport her to a hospital. She's not gonna have a chance of getting better if y'all just have a pity party on the ground. Jim attempts to compress a non-compressible injury. Also, aren't y'all just the slightest bit afraid those guys are gonna rotate on you? Like, why are we sitting out in the open waiting to get murked? Uh, now would be a solid time to alert your daughter who works for Border Patrol to the fact that the guys that were trying to kill you at the border are right there. But no, we just have to have a driving force for the movie. Ex Machina to the fullest. Stay here, understand? Okay, but why, why would you leave the kid in the truck by himself at all? If you have a high value asset to protect, in what world would it make sense to leave that asset out of sight even for a millisecond? Ah yes, drinking, to keep alert and focused while being pursued by the cartel, all while trying to maintain security on a kid that likes to walk away every three seconds. That's what the pros do. So he just keeps his door unlocked? I mean, if he does, he might as well set up a few booby traps. Lord knows that would have solved a number of issues down the line here. What the hell were you thinking taking that kid? Not much, lady. There is nothing but static behind that man's eyes. The one truly realistic thing in this film, a Chevy Silverado breaking down when it's needed most. I mean, yeah, this dude is a menace and all, but why would he risk getting caught by murking this kid that literally had nothing to do with Jim and only gave him an atlas? Once again, here's the main bad guy acting crazy in a way that would normally prompt a police response pretty quickly. People have called for way less than staring at people creepily. I promise you, I'd know. Lights and sirens? Dang, troops got a troop, but this is overkill. License, please. 
Troop didn't make a passenger side approach. Not a real troop. Step out of the vehicle, please. I didn't think I was speeding. Is there a problem? Yeah, where's your nine-step violator approach, troop? Stady's playing fast and loose with the rules. This SIG P320 didn't go off when dropped. I right, cool, you got the troop knocked out. Now go get your guns back because you need those. Or don't. Don't. Don't is fine too. I'll be right back. You wouldn't need to get more guns if you would just went back for yours. This Maritzu will find you. And when he does, he will kill you. Taken reference. I'm taking this in off. $39 plus tax. Credit card and ID, please. Finally, Jim gets the fact that the card is leaving a paper trail. Good lord, man. I love how the scriptwriter made it obvious that Jim has a drinking problem, but it really never has any sort of true consequence in the film. So Jim is just an alcoholic. Go you, Jim. Wanna go out, boy? I feel like if you're trying to lay low, doing the bare minimum surveillance of your surroundings by just peeking out the door before letting the dog out would serve Jim well. I refuse to attribute this to Jim's drinking problem. Jim is just dumb. The best character in the entire movie is killed. Brother, where is your ear pro? I get Jim is an old marine vet and all, so he's lost most of his hearing anyway, but then where are his hearing aids? Why is he not saying, what's that? And huh, every three seconds. Holy crap, Jim. Muscle awareness, please. Now, your finger here. Now, line up this with this notch with that can on the left. The fundamentals of firearm safety? We're just going to glaze over that? Okay, then. We'll slide back to clear. Just flagged your hand. Now the gun's empty. But you should treat it as if it were loaded. Yeah, and you flagged the kid too. Good, good God, Jim. What are you doing? There are good times ahead for you, Miguel. Not at the rate you're endangering him with your piss poor firearm safety. We've got no use for this. Ah, good. Yes, burn the money that has been getting you out of tricky situations from the start. That's a sound idea. His mom even told you to use that money to make sure the kid got there safely. I just, oh, my brain, dude. Shoot and scoot, man. Shoot and scoot. I feel like the Marine Corps failed Jim drastically with how little he understands about tactics and firearms, especially since he's supposedly a marksman. Ah, yes, the old gotta rack the slide even though it's already loaded shtick. All right, finally using some level of firearms knowledge to save the day. Great, we got him on the ropes. Now end him and let's get you to the hospital since, you know, at this point in the fight, you've just been stabbed like eight times and shot. Now you have a choice. Why just shoot him? From all this, we have determined that Jim is dumb, and no amount of training or advice that anyone could ever provide would be adequate enough to prevent him from hurting himself or others. Sorry, Pancho, these illegals are mine. 